So, you don't want to think of your own animation, you want to trace someone else's. Not a problem. Now, tracing itself is pretty simple. The hardest part is usually finding a good video. In the worst case scenario, you might have to use your phone to record yourself pretending to do the animation. If you are lucky and you find someone else's video, you can record pieces of it by going to the start menu, type game bar, open, press record, do your business, and stop recording. You can do the same thing on Mac if you open QuickTime, File, and New Screen recording. However way you get your video, as long as it's an mp4, drag it into Blender, then move, rotate, and scale it to the right place. Once it's in Blender, you can go over here and set how many frames of the video you want it to look through. Also, while in object mode, go through all the main points in the animation and make sure that the character stays in the middle of your workflow by keying its position. Now, when you are tracing, your game plan is still going to be the same as when you're doing a normal animation. Make sure that the first frame makes sense and scroll through the animation until you find the king frame of the animation and start tracing it. Press A and I to keyframes. Then scroll backwards until you find your windup. Press A, I, and keyframes again to trace the silhouette of your animation. Once you've got your first frame, king frame, and the windup, you know the drill. Add extension to both, and then add a cooldown to finish it off. Don't worry about spacing until the very end. The most important part of tracing an animation is nailing the silhouettes for the windup and the king. You can mess with the distance when it's all over. All right, now, I keep seeing people mention how you don't need to manually key things with I if we have auto key on. And honestly, I get you. I know where you're coming from. And if your work looks great without manually keying your whole frame, fantastic. Keep doing you. But let me explain why I do it and why I still think it's a good idea. When you press A and I to keyframe, what you are doing is locking everything about this pose into this frame 100%. And what that means is no matter what happens before or after, this frame will always look like this. Now, let's say you made your king frame by just scrolling to the middle and moving a few things around with the record button active. And you get a good silhouette that you're happy with without manually keying everything with I. Okay. Okay. I want you to remember this pose. Notice the direction she's facing. Notice the direction her knees and torso are going. Now watch what happens when we make a new keyframe somewhere else on the timeline. I'll just move a few things around, but look what happens when we go back to check on our old frame. See that? Working on that frame messed up the pose we had on this one. And the reason is because auto key only works on the bones that you move around. When we created this frame, all we moved were the hands, pelvis, and feet. So those are the only frames that got keyed, which means that when we went over here and started working on a different pose, every other bone that wasn't keyed, like the head, chest, the toes, knees, and elbows, are getting their information from here instead. That is why when we are truly happy with one of our frames, we key everything with A and I. Otherwise, you will lose this pose and silhouette as soon as you add new frames before or after. Anyway, hope that helps. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Hope you have a fantastic day. And I'll see you around.